lovelies. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. To all of my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Miss Lovely. Thank you so much for tuning in. Nice for you to join me. And to all my oldies but goodies, hugs and kisses to you as well. So guys, so today I am super excited because I am always trying to be a beauty and lovely on a budget, okay? So I went thrifting, or I'm gonna start making Thursdays, thrifting Thursdays, because at the thrift, at my local thrift store, they have it where you can get all green ticket items, half off, and any tickets that are red, you get everything for one dollar. $1. Y'all, honey, whenever I am a true believer that another man's trash is another man's treasure, lovely and bougie on a budget, okay? Okay, you can take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and put it together and bam, it looked like you made, you paid a lot, you paid a lot of money for it, but in reality, you really didn't. So guys, I'm here just to share my little knowledge with you guys. I'm going to do, this is a really brief, a really, really brief um, thrift store haul. It is more so of home decor. Now I do have another video that will be coming out pretty soon and it's going to be going into, um, Christmas and things of that nature, Christmas decor and things like that. But before we get too far ahead into Thanksgiving and Christmas, I want to go ahead and do this video for you guys and show you all what I found at the thrift store. And this is somebody else's trash, y'all, and I'm going to make it my treasure, okay? So the first piece that I got was this candle stand. This was a green ticket item it was originally priced for three dollars and I got it half off for a dollar and fifty cent so this is the top of it and it has um the little leaves that go around the stand and if you want to see the price three bucks and green ticket items was a half half off so therefore I paid a dollar fifty for this and this is what the stand looks like so this is how tall it is, and I'm going to insert a clip right here to show exactly how I placed it with my candle and where exactly where I put it at. But I mean, for a dollar and fifty cent, guys, this is a freaking steal! Oh my gosh! And I am so into beautifying my home, making my home fit me and my style. Anyways, moving right along. Right along. So, you guys, the next piece that I got was these two wall sconces. I love wrought iron, you guys. Wrought iron brings so much uh, classiness to your home. It brings so much uh, vintage um, pieces to your home, and it just depends on where you put it, how you how you put it in your home. It can make it look really beautiful. So these two sconces I got here, you guys. Each of them they were marked at what my price at five dollars see the green tag right here says five dollars and it was half off five dollars so i spent i paid five dollars for these heavy 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 wall sconces and it goes on the wall and it sits it where you put a candle up here so i found two of these for five bucks at my local thrift store and y'all these when i say they're heavy they are heavy they are really beautiful and yeah, I am so excited about my new pieces and I'm gonna insert a clip right here, all right here. I'm gonna insert a clip right here to show exactly where I placed it um, in my home and how it looks up on an actual wall. All right, so while I'm on wall decor, this is another rock iron piece. You guys, I fell in love with this, another green tag. This was marked down, this was marked at five dollars so i paid two dollars and fifty cent for this and this is a beautiful nice piece decorative piece that i'm going to put on my wall i have not decided as to where i'm going to put it just yet 
But I mean, for five dollars, I'm mean, excuse me, for two dollars, I could not resist. I could not leave this in the in the store. And it had it's where you can actually put stuff in it. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in my bathroom and put some washcloths on it, or I might put like some little glass, some candles in here. But it has a space for this. Uh, it has a hole right here, one right here, right here and two at the bottom as well. So I thought this was a really, really nice vintage piece, you guys, and it only paid $2.50 for it. Y'all, when I say I'm taking somebody else's trash and making it my treasure, huh, why? Watch me. This next piece, now this, the red pieces, the red ticket items were marked down to $1, $1 freaking dollar one dollar now this originally came from tj maxx and somebody paid for it they bought they paid it they bought this for 12.99 i bought it for a dollar look at this base you guys isn't that pretty and if you see the red tag right here is it was originally 4.75 but any red ticket items it was a dollar and it's a vase so I can put things in here and this match and it fits my color scheme in my living room and in my kitchen so I have not decided if I'm gonna put it in my living room or if I'm gonna insert it put it in my kitchen somewhere but for a dollar you guys you can't beat that I mean this was a freaking steal and when I need a steal I mean a steal I need a deal okay I will take another man's trash and make it my treasure watch so my next piece now i have been looking for a lamp for some time now but i've gone to kirkland and i saw a few lamps at kirkland's and i went to walmart i went to steinmart i went to i went to a few places i went to hobby lobby and they had a few pieces that i liked However, I didn't really want to spend that kind of money on a nice, elegant lamp. So it's not always where you get it from. It's actually how you make it. So I found this lamp, guys. Y'all hold your breath. I mean, it's a beautiful piece to me. It fits my taste. It fits the decor that's already in my home. You guys, this is a lamp that I bought and it was ticketed for five bucks. I paid $2.50 for this lamp, okay? Um, only thing that it was missing was the knob on here. So what I did was had the lady use another switch off another lamp to turn it on and just to make sure that it worked before I bought it on here or I'm gonna take like an older lamp that I don't use and just screw that on here. Like, I'm gonna really, like, really revamp this lamp. And you guys are gonna see how I redo it. And it already has the the um the handle piece up here. I can't remember. I don't know what this is called, but this is the piece that actually holds the shade. But this is the iron. The this is the lamp that I bought for two dollars and fifty cent. You guys, two dollars and fifty cent. Two dollars and fifty cent, you guys, and this is like my style. This fits my uh, style in my home, and, and it matches my decor. So I won't really have to redo it as far as like spray painting or another anything like that. But this fits my style in my home, you guys. I paid two dollars and fifty cent for this, and I know, and it is super heavy. It is super heavy, and I paid two dollars and fifty cent for it. Yeah. So I did find a lampshade to go with it. Um, I wanted something a little bit bigger for a lampshade, but I'm like, for the space and where I'm gonna put the lamp, I'm like, I don't really, I don't think I wanna do a big lampshade or whatever. So this is the lampshade that I bought and it has the perfect ball to go with it. Of course, this was marked, this was $3 and you know, the green tag half off. So I paid a dollar and 50 cent for this lampshade a dollar and 50 cent for this lampshade lampshade y'all for real so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks hold on put 
the shade on here. Y'all. You guys, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is really, really beautiful, you guys. And I might sit it on this table right here. Let's see. Turn it around like this. Take the tag off. Let me go get a light bulb and I want you to guys I want you guys to see that this does work and I want you to guys to see exactly how lamps beautify a home. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so do you see how this lamp works? All I had to do was go get a lamp. Um, I had all I had to do was go get a bulb to put in there. And I've got to get a screw for my husband to just to screw on there to turn the lamp on and off. But you guys, you know, it does not take like a lot of money to beautify your home. Um, oh, that's another piece that I got from the thrift store, but I, I had that for a while now. But what have you. Anyway, um, yes, y'all, I am like so in love with my new lamp. Like this is really what I have been looking for for the last for a while now and I'll fix that up a little bit but you guys see like this lamp looks like I pay a lot of money for it but you guys can see I only paid two dollars and fifty cents for it and it was originally priced at the thrift store for five bucks but I only paid two dollars and fifty cents for it so the lampshade was a steal and the lamp was a steal as well so you guys it's not about that might be too much anyway so you but yeah that's what i found at the thrift store i'm always at the thrift store i have to go often because you never know what kind of goods you're going to find in there so therefore you have to like I'll constantly go and I hear people say all the time where well, every time I go they don't ever have anything well honey you got to keep going you have to be consistent with it you have to keep going because you never know what you might come across you never know what you might find and it's also depending on like a lot of people would like do a lot of cleaning up during the weekend so therefore they're going to donate a lot of stuff like on Saturday evenings or Sundays so about Monday or between Monday and Wednesday those are your perfect times for you to go um, to the thrift store or whatever because, you know, they're putting stuff out and they can only keep stuff in their back for so long. They have to get it in, make sure it works, price it and have it out on the ship on have it out on the on the on the floor for people to buy. Um, and then, you know, some some thrift stores do a little bit differently. They have it where you donate the same day and they put it out the same day. But you just have to be consistent with your trips to the thrift store or the good, either the Goodwill, the thrift store, the consignment shop or whatever. You just have to be really consistent with it. But I guarantee you can always take another man's trash and make it your treasure. Thank you so much for joining Miss Lovely on Thrifty Thursday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this video wherever you share your videos. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all across the land, across the land. Let them know what Miss Lovely is doing on her channel. I love you. Be lovely. Be blessed. But God loves you best. Peace. Bye.